Okay guys, so in this video, I will be doing a quick overview on how I made this garden scene inside Blender. So let's get right into it. I started off by adding a cube so that I could turn it into a ball. I readjusted the dimensions on the X axis and the Z axis so that uh, it would look much more like a ball. After I had made one ball, I had duplicated it to make a garden room. After that, I added in a simple plane so that I could turn it into a grassland. After readjusting all of the things, I gave the plane a simple hair uh, particle system uh, to the uh, plane. And I adjusted the size, the amount of hair uh, to 200,000 so it would look uh, a lot denser uh, uh, grass. And I also changed the Brownian motion of the, uh, of the hair so that it would look much more like a grass. After that, I decided to make a open gate uh, for the garden. I started off by adding a cube, then mirroring it, and then uh, continuing along the way by extruding and readjusting all the dimensions. After I had made the door, I, uh, I after I had made the gate, I readjusted the position of the gate and uh, then cut out the back side of the uh, wall so that it would look an open door. Here is the result so far. And uh, now after that, I added in a, another plane so that I could add uh, the back uh, the land on the outside of the door. I gave the same material and particle system as to the uh, inside the garden. After that, I added in a simple cone so that I could turn it into a simple uh, hill shape. And then uh, after subdividing, I decided to sculpt it so that it would look much more like a uh, hill. And then I, I added a few bumps here and there so, so that it would look much more realistic. After that, I smoothed out the bumps so that it wouldn't look handmade and uh, natural after that i tested and experimented with some uh, modifiers but uh, most of them didn't look the best so i just have put the solidify modifier after that i modeled some pots design uh, so that uh, i could add them into the garden i made total three designs for the pots which uh, were uh, one was uh, uh, large one was medium and one was very small I gave Bevan modifier to all of the pods so that it would look much more smooth. I duplicated the pod so that uh, it could fit in the scene more. After that, I subdivide the wall and started sculpting out the wall and the basic uh, material of the wall. And then uh, for the hill, I decide to go for the same texture as the grass. And for the pots, I decided to use a noise texture combined with a color ramp. First, I tested with the normal brown color and it, it didn't look really good. So I just added a uh, noise texture with a color ramp and adjusted all the colors uh, respectively. And then for the soil of the uh, uh, pots, I decided to go for a boronoid texture and combined with the color ramp. Now after that I decided to texture the walls uh, on the garden. I decided to go for a bornite texture as well. After that I made some little things that were that I put on top of the uh, wall so that it would look much more better and more detailed. I made a simple design that uh, you, you might often see uh, in top of on top of houses. Then uh, I also made uh, a design for aloe vera plant so that I could put them into a large pot. This was a very low poly model as uh, I was going for a cartoonish approach. I then uh, duplicated all of the models of the aloe vera so it took more contents. After that, I created a simple model for a flower and uh, I added a, I did that using a curve. 
and then turning it into a mesh layer and I just used simple colors as textures and this wasn't very high poly as uh, they use for poly very small after that last but not the least I decided to add some white I took, in, uh, took a picture from online uh, and then I started to cut out uh, the picture using the knife tool and then I adjusted the dimension so that it would look uh, realistic I added multiple uh, vines uh, so that it will look uh, much more better and, uh, and uh, realistic Now this is the scene uh, so far and it's complete. Thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe if you have enjoyed. Thank you.